Okay, you're in a sukodachi. Your feet are this way. Your feet should be facing forward. Like this. It's like you're riding on a horse. If you're riding on a horse, you got your feet in the stirrups on the, on the, horse, on the horse. So they're facing basically forward. That bows your, that keeps your power of your leg, and then you bow your legs out. Okay? Hips are thrusting forward. Not sitting down, and your hips are thrusting forward. Hmm? 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 Uh, my name is uh, Donald okay. Miskell, Dr. Donald Miskell. Uh, I'm the Shodai, the Judon Shodai Soki, the Black Lotus. Uh, Martial Arts Association. I'm one of the patriarchs of the IFAA Black Dragon Fighting Society, original a member of the, of the organization and a student of John Keen and Doug Dwyer. Doug Dwyer, who is my sensei. Uh, I teach karate, I teach kempo, and I teach akat jitsu. I've been involved in the martial arts since 1957. Uh, I'm a minister, a uh, pastor. Uh, I'm the, a co-pastor of End Time Ministries on uh, West 115th Street in, on Southside Chicago. Uh, our ministry is to try and reach into the community. We're an outreach ministry. So one of the things that we do, we teach martial arts to youth in the community. Uh, we're trying to be father figures. We're trying to sow in the community. There's an old adage that says it takes um, a village to raise a child. And we base our ministry on that, our ministry to the children on that. You're taking your hands too high. Baby, if you take your hands too high, you're pulling them up here. I want you to come off your hip because I want you to get the, the idea of gathering the power from your hip. And remember, it's not out here. Your punch is right here. Don't turn your shoulder. If you turn your shoulder, you're reaching. And just this little bit is going to take you off balance. You want to sink into it, bow it out. It's right like that. So, okay, but you don't want to reach. You reach, you're throwing yourself up back. You break, you're going past your center of gravity when you reach. My father was a, a, a Marine, uh, and he was a DI, and he had been, um, uh, pull, you know, had been a cop, a military policeman, and he taught hand-to-hand -hand combat. And because of that, I kind of got the passion from him. He showed me a few moves, what they used to call combat jujitsu or combat judo. Uh, later on, when I was around 10 years old, I had a friend whose father came out of the military and had been stationed in, in Okinawa. He was a Marine on Okinawa, and had gotten up to a brown belt in judo, and uh, he wanted to teach his son, but he needed someone for his son to, uh, his son's size and his son's age, you know, to act as sort of an uke, you know, someone from the try the technique song. His father was a brown belt in judo, and so constantly I started studying judo with him. My formal education in martial arts started at the Jiu Jitsu Institute in downtown Chicago on Wabash uh, in Chicago, and I studied under um, Master Moss Tamura. Uh, and Vince Tamura, and we used to talk judo and Kano Jiu Jitsu, which is a precursor of judo. It was through them that I met um, uh, Shijiro Tsuchiyama, uh, who was sent to Chicago by the Japan Karate Association, taught Shotokan Karate. I studied for around six or seven months with him. Uh, when I was around 14, I met my sensei, Doug Dwyer, in one of the local karate stores on uh, South Halstead, Van Boskets or Sporting Goods. And I met Doug, and Doug was working the sides, and I had never seen anyone do kobudo, any form of weapons, traditional weapons. And I became enamored with that, and Doug invited me to the school, and the rest is history. Fist, don't do this, and don't do this because you sprain or you break, sprain your fist, your wrist, or you break your wrist. Okay, now lower your shoulder, son. Now that lower your shoulder. You don't want, when you throw, you don't want to lift your shoulder. You don't want to reach with your shoulder. If you're defending, you, you can kind of turn. You want to offer them a smaller target. But when you're attacking, you want to have, you want to have access to both, of both your weapons. So you want to be full facing them. It gives me, it gives me full access to whatever. Well, you know, in the 1950s, people knew what judo was, but judo was martial art. At that time, when I started studying judo, there was no karate or kung fu or taekwondo or anything like that being taught in Chicago, at least not the Occidentals and non-Orientals. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the gentleman I studied with, Master Sugiyama, was the first uh, karate instructor to teach Shotokan karate in Chicago, and one of the first karate instructors in Chicago that I know of. Uh, later on, John Keen, 
uh, also known Aka, AKA Count Dante, uh, began to teach shortly thereafter. Uh, he was uh, one of Master Trias's people. Master Trias was considered the father of American karate. He was based out of uh, Phoenix, Arizona, taught Shorei Goju, Shorei, uh, Goju Shorei karate. And I left my um, uh, Shotokan roots and went to Shorei Goju. Shorei Goju was, I felt, was a more practical form of karate. Mm -hmm. For this one, okay? This way, a, a camera, okay. All right? This is this way. Put this on. Like that. 